We, um, we didn't give up many explosive plays on Saturday, and that was one of the reasons we won the game. We had one long run, um, but we didn't give up a play of more than 25 yards. And, and against that team um, who had thrown 15 touchdown passes over the last three weeks, uh, we thought that was much improved. I think we had 38 yards after um, contact where we missed tackles. And that's better than it's been. The stopping the running game was better than it's been. And the one play that they broke up inside was a, a mistake. We should have, we, we were in the right place. We should have made the play. Um, and offensively, we, we still want to run the ball well enough that it opens up, uh, puts us in one-on-one -on -one situations deep like we had with Mike Davis on Saturday and uh, even um, Jackson Shipley a couple of times on the outside. We had Marquise one-on-one -on -one three or four times and never got him the ball. Uh, but our, our thoughts have not changed. But I, I do think our defense has gained a lot of confidence. And this is um, our, our defense won the game at Kansas because they allowed us to stay in it till we got some offensive production. I thought uh, uh, Saturday they, they uh, kept them to one touchdown pass. They made them kick field goals. So I thought they were a huge part of, of the balance of winning that game. And, and uh, they'll be huge this weekend because Iowa State's a team that likes to run the ball and they're very physical. So uh, this will be a physical matchup. And we've got to match them. We, we didn't win either line of scrimmage last year in the Iowa State game in my estimation. And even though we won the game 34 to nothing, it was on turnovers and trick plays. I, I thought they won the lines of scrimmage. So that'll be a question for this weekend. They play hard. They play with confidence. Uh, you go back and look, they've beaten Baylor. Uh, they've uh, uh, played Oklahoma much better than we did. Uh, they've uh, beaten TCU on the road. Uh, they had a, a great game with um, uh, Texas Tech. They, they ended up beating Iowa on the road. So uh, they play physical. They play tough. You know they're going to be ready to play. I think the question is, will we be ready to play? And it's time that we become ready to play. I don't know. I'd, I'd hope we're uh, at a point where we didn't play well the first 11. Half of us played well the second 11. Uh, maybe we'll all play well the, the third 11. We tried everything in the world. To, uh, to get it stirred up last week. So um, Pope McCoy and Phil Dawson and, and two military heroes are coming back to be honorary captains this week. Uh, so I think that should stir the crowd up and get them in a little bit earlier. And, and we need help from our crowd. Our crowd was great at Baylor, uh, the best I've ever seen at West Virginia. Uh, we, need, uh, we, we can match last year's wins by winning this weekend and get to an eighth win. And that's really important. Only two games left for these seniors that have tried so hard at home. Uh, so I expect the crowd to, to be there early uh, because they, they need to help us this weekend. And we're not a, a normally early crowd for an 11 o'clock game, so we need to be. And, and that's something that really needs to help us this weekend.